Hey everybody! Welcome to my short video about how to use the new back tap shortcut feature in iOS 14. In this video, I'll tell you all about it and show you how to both set up and use this handy new feature. Let's get to it! So what is back tap? It's an accessibility feature that lets you tap the back of your iPhone to perform an action or shortcut. The intended use case is to turn on another accessibility feature, such as voiceover, or to perform an action on a hardware switch control. But the feature is extremely versatile and can be a great feature for everyone to use. With back tap in iOS 14, a quick double or triple tap on the back of your iPhone can open Control Center, take a screenshot, trigger accessibility specific actions, and more. This feature requires an iPhone 8 or newer running iOS 14 or newer. Setting it up is pretty simple. First, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Then scroll down and tap Accessibility. Then choose Touch. In that menu, scroll down to the bottom and choose Back Tap. In this screen, you can set up the action for each option, Double Tap and Triple Tap. Both tap types offer the same selection of options. You can choose Accessibility Shortcuts, System Shortcuts, such as the Control Center or Reachability, More Accessibility Options, Scrolling Gestures, or Siri Shortcuts. As you can see, I personally chose a Siri shortcut I set up to send audio from my iPhone to my living room HomePods for my double tap, and for my triple tap, I set up a shortcut to access Control Center. Using back tap shortcuts is really quite simple. Here's the double tap, which in my example is sending the music to my living room HomePods from my iPhone. And here's the triple tap that activates Control Center on my iPhone. Back tap shortcuts are quick actions that really do add an additional level of convenience to the iPhone you already have. Do you use back tap shortcuts? If so, how do you use them? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.